can see I'm surrounded in sorghum. It's uh, incredibly high. We're making our way to the car. This is where things get tricky. We're at the crossroads and now we take a right. I would not have known this. Ooh. Had I not had done this a couple times before. It rained last night so the mud is thick and caked upon my shoes. Okay, let's go. It is so hard not to slip and fall. The mercy, do not wear shoes in this. And they've done it thousands of times, obviously. Ironically, wearing shoes makes it even that much more slippier. Okay. okay, I am making my way through the sorghum fields. You can tell these by what they tell me, uh, locusts. And that's why they have these large sort of like deer stands. They have these massive deer stands and members of this, of this tribe stand on top of them and slingshot rocks at uh, locust nests, other birds and other prey that are infesting on these sorghum plants. These sorghum plants are like 10 feet tall. See, this is the stand that I was talking about. That's what they use to scare the birds and locusts and other things away. Okay, we finally made it to the car. My feet are full of mud. Uh, it's incredibly heavy. And now we're gonna go and hunt. finally out in the bush we're gonna hopefully find a buffalo there's a good indication because that is buffalo poop I'm gonna go this is the main road Let's see that's the main road I'm going into the bush wish me luck all of these bushes around us have little tiny spikes so it's very difficult not to get cut up when you're out here. You really have to tread slowly. I mean, just look at the spikes that are on this. These are the spikes that we're dealing with in the bush. You gotta really watch yourself. And they have bulbs on all of them. But the spikes are serious business. Our guide is, uh, our guide is uh, a little drunk on moonshine. And I could do the And then Julian Bacaran Barben Bacaran. Eh? Could be doing a kid in a chachi and Judy Go Barbe. I think, um, is a little bit drunk. I'm sorry. And here we are listening to him ranting about. Uh -huh. How wonderful we are. Uh, so it's, uh -huh. I tell him to move on. We'll keep going. Through the bush. It's not open, mate. <laughs> you got to open it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's water. That's our water. I know, but he's trying to drink. 
I think he's trying to take a drink. Maybe he was just making a joke. Whatever. All right. Look, okay. Kaibe. 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 Okay. Back on the trail into the bush. We've just arrived in this bush. We heard that Ulicaro has killed uh, something on a successful hunt, but there are buzzards flying all over. I, I don't know if you can see that, but um, we're gonna go see what he's caught. I'm trying to make my way through this tall grass. And we'll be able to see something shortly. Bear with me. Mm. That smell is fresh. I believe this is a gazelle or some type of deer that he's just hunted and caught. Holy, holy, holy. What is this one? Through here. I think they're eating some of this deer meat. And they just place it right on top of the fire. Ash and everything. They don't care. As soon as it's cooked, he'll remove it, mm. cut it up, share it with everyone. Actually, <laughs> Guri. Any guy, any guy, 
Now, what you can see here is he's cutting into this in various parts. Not only to separate the meat from the bone, but this is going to cook a lot easier as he separates these ligaments from the knee. Okay, so this looks like it's organ meat. <laughs> it looks like some kind of wild deer. They killed two, a uh, an adult and I think a younger version. They have it on the fire here in the back and as you can see everyone is eating. The meat is actually not that great. It's very gamey. Uh, you could smell <coughs> the fresh blood and, and meat all around. There are buzzards dozens of buzzards hovering over us that you can't really see but um, nevertheless they know something has been killed um, this is the way of the mercy every once in a while there's a successful hunt and everybody comes from around and uh, partakes in the spoils uh, every part is eaten they use the fur I'm not sure what this head will be used for, but it's for something. The organs have been removed. Now, this is the Morsi way of cooking. They cut these pieces of meat into long strips and place them directly on the coals. He's now trying to get them out of the fire and he is wiping the coal and getting, trying to get some of the ash off. He's, and this was some of the best pieces of the meat. He says it's very tasty. He loves it. It's very good. It's good I'm <laughs> 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 
इन्हें मैं कोई बोल नहीं आती ना इन्हें हाँ इन्हें कह रहे थे इन्हें कह रहे हैं तुम भी मार दो रे ना ना ये आये कुछ है so this is Huli Koro's wife the wife of the hunter she's cutting it up for everybody to enjoy everyone's going to be sitting around here and eating bits of this uh, successful kill mm. uh, there's no seasoning involved this is just straight raw meat that's been placed on the fire for about 10 minutes um, we're going to sample a piece here it is the piece of meat that was hunted today just came off the fire <laughs> Very good. Mm. As you can see here, he is taking the stomach and it is hanging from a tree. He's removing the bile and I believe they're going to cook the stomach. Ashwi? Ashwi. It says, very good. Um, everything is used in the mercy. They, uh, nothing goes to waste. You can see the massive amounts of bile here on the ground. That is from the stomach of the adult uh, deer. Um, this one looks like it may be from the younger, uh, younger deer, but there are flies all around. And this is literally what living off the land means. This is the way of the mercy. This is how they survive. This is how they live their life here in the bush. Raman. And here go go Raman. Here go go Raman. Donne. Raman. Sizi. Wush. Hanan ille isaba isa sakal tomon. Kudone ko Raman ko sizi. Ko wush. Ko hanan. Ko ille ko isaba ko isi ko sakal ko tomon. Here go go Donne. Here go go Raman. Kuraman. Hirgun Kuraman. Hirgun Kuraman. Hirgun Kuraman. Hirgun Kuraman. Hirgun Kuraman. Hirgun Kuraman. Yeah. Yeah. Hirgun Kuraman. He's counting the buzzards in this tree. Yeah. You probably can't see, but um, yeah. Now he's cutting ribs. Look at that. Now we're gonna taste some some rib. Are we? I think we're getting it. I think. I love how you get this here. Slowly making my way back to the car. We finished eating. The rest of the tribe is going to have their meat and ribs. And Ooh. Okay, it's really swampy and muddy through here. It's very difficult to walk. But I am going back to the car because one of my friends that I made from Maganto, the first tribe we were at, really loved to make fart jokes. So every time we see each other, we make a fart sound and laugh. So we're gonna see him right now. Watch what I mean. Look at who it is. Look at who it is. My fart friend. Charlie, Charlie Gori.
Good. You did it? You. No, no, no. Oh! oh you. He is the farter. You're the farter. He says, no, I'm the farter. No, you're the farter. You. You walk around and. No, no, no. No, 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 not me, not me. I don't know, we bonded over this for some reason. Uh, no matter where you go in life, just know, as long as you can make a joke about a fart, everybody around the world loves it. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs>